Hi. Uh, I went just to my brother's house today to help with just tidying up a few bits and just knowing that they know that I'm there for them. So um, it just helps his wife to realise that she's not on her own. We went on our own. We've managed to continue to pull together, which is the most positive of it all. There's still ups and downs, there will be. There will be ups and downs for a while, and the question of not knowing how and why. But it is only the end of day four. So I don't know how long it will take to to find out how he died. We'll get the answers. We'll find out. Um, And maybe, hopefully, it will help others to see where they can make a change in their life. No matter how small it is, a small change is a big change. A small change is a positive change. Regardless. just wish that my brother was still here with us just that I can give him a call he's the type of person where you'd think it was a bit of a practical joke he, he was a bit of a joker he would when he came up when he came up home he would move or oh, change the remote batteries so they wouldn't work or move photos around uh, just maybe as a brother does hopefully not irritating us too much but then he was our little brother so he was entitled a little bit mm. got to the point where it's a bit tricky with what to say so you might not hear for maybe I don't know a day two days three days or until when I feel that I need to talk again to me because that's all I can see is me um, and I might have some news of what went so wrong um, and, and then also a positive change that I'm making to my life. Richie's GoFundMe page has excelled its £3,000 and I just, I'm just in awe of how many kind and generous people there are out there. He was well loved, as expected. He's a cheeky chappy. Since Mum died, his love of life did did take a bit of a a bit of a dip. But he made sure that he came back up fighting, and he did. He really, really did. He came up fighting for his boys and his wife and and me and Jen because he didn't want us to be on our own. He wanted to make sure that we were all okay to the point where he would bring me food. He would uh, use or need to use the food bank. 
as he was uh, registered disability because of his back. He had an, an operation which nearly paralysed him. He was told he couldn't work, so he didn't. He couldn't. So he, him and his wife, survived solely on, on social payments. And the food bank. And if you had a little bit extra, you would bring it up here in a bag. Soups, corned beef, tuna. And then I would put it under my cupboard for those rainy days where we all find finances a bit tight. And where we might struggle. His wife realised that the freezer had been turned off today. It had been turned off for about three or four days. We don't know how, why, who... No idea, but their food has obviously all gone gone bad, so that's got thrown away. Um, and we did a uh, a food shop for them. We went online to Iceland and did a food shop, which will be delivered tomorrow. We would have took her, or, or we would have gone ourselves, but it's a Sunday. God's day of rest, apparently. Mm. Uh, so they'll get some some food for tomorrow and it's all of what the boys and Kerry need which is good me I'm okay I'm sat out in my garden I sit and I think um, the images will never leave me of what I saw that night and the shock. I think that's the biggest thing, isn't it? It's the shock. Dealing with the shock of it all. God bless everybody. And I hope that you're all staying so very strong. And I hope that I am giving you some any sort of strength to continue as I videoed from day one you know day four feels like a lifetime since I last saw him and heard him <sighs> and it's going to be a lifetime before I see him and hear him again God rest